everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be trying out the game Automation, a car company tycoon game or whatnot. I've seen a few videos on it, looked interesting. Um, obviously the car designer is the heavier focus, but we're going to go through the campaign mode and just kind of test it out. So, let's get started. I think we're going to start our company as Apollo Motors. For no other reason than I like yeah, historical and mythological stuff. Um, I don't want to do casual, but I don't want to make it too hard because I've never played. So let's just set it on easy and get started. And obviously we have to build a new car. And I kind of want to play with starting from scratch instead of just generating one and editing it. Um, okay, so based on what I've seen in the videos, this is our various demographics that we can go for. Uh, red is bad, green is good, so the ones that are green, there's more of a market for. So in this particular case, I think we're just going to stick with the family market. that I kind of have this vision of it being something similar to like an affordable Bentley or you know, a slightly more luxurious family sedan for the first car. I'd like to get into more of like the performance of maybe truck models as we get down the line. So we need to name the car. I gotta come up with a name and we're gonna call it the Nebula. Just because. And the trim will be, well, it won't let me select everything all at once. We're going to call it the LS, luxury sedan. Why not? And I think we're going to go with the hard top option as a sedan. That one. Okay. It's a really weird back window, but we can fix all this. Um, as I've seen other people doing, you can kind of morph the body later. Um, being 1946, we're not going to spring for aluminum or anything. We'll just stick with steel. But I do want to go with the space frame because safety is a concern. And do we want to go with galvanized? You guys will have to let me know if the music is too loud. I've got it turned as far down as it will go. Um, yeah, it costs a little bit more, but it's corrosion resistant. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Now, do we want to do a front or a rear? I'm looking at the car. Not a whole lot of room for engine back here. A lot of room for engine up here. On the flip side of that, we're not making a powerhouse. So having it in the rear might not be a bad thing. But the drivability is so much better with it in the front even though service costs are better with it in the rear. We're going to go with drivability. And keeping in that vein, the comfort and drivability is best with the double wishbone. So we're just going to stick with those. And we'll drop a couple of points of quality, which is something of a nebulous nebula. Uh, just kind of general increase of the quality of the car. And we have to make a new engine. So, engine family name. Um, we'll call it the Comet. We have a space theme going on. And the variant name will be 40. So I think we're going to aim for about a 4 liter V8. Uh, 90 degree, because the 60 degree is only available as a 12. We're not going for a V12. So we're going to stick with the V8, cast iron. And look at that, it's already basically 4 liters. And the familiarity is with the push rods. We'll just stick with that. We don't want anything too crazy for our first car. And... Once again, just kind of stick with 
what's our better choice. Now the engineering time is actually lower, materials cost is lower, and the weight is lower when we go with the flat plane. Which is kind of funny because you usually associate that with being a bit more advanced, but we'll go that route. And we're not too worried about a really super high torque, which is what that heavy duty cast Conrods gives us, so we'll just stick with cast. And same thing with pistons, we're not looking for a massive amount of torque. And another couple points of quality for the engine. Now I'm envisioning this as a bit of a lower compression, but we'll see. And we'll stick the cam profile up a little bit just to kind of counteract the low compression. Two more points in equality. Naturally aspirated is our only option. And I think a single barrel eco is what we're gonna go with here and we'll give it two of them with a standard intake using regular leaded gas. And we'll leave this here, except for the quality for now, until we get to the end when we see all the graphs and everything we need to tweak stuff. Okay. Exhaust. Again, this is not intended to be a sporty car. We will go with the dual exhaust, though. Baffled mufflers quiet it down. Okay, see, this is what we're talking about. The valve float is where we have issues. And I ran into this or I ran it, I saw somebody running into this. And it basically was that the fuel mixture and all that was just way off. So you see it really quickly dropped off. So what else do we have here? AFR is too rich. But it instantly goes down. So uh, what if we bump up the compression a bit. Oh, that just makes the knocking angry. Now we can advance the cams. Wow, this is a really low horsepower engine. So what if we lean it out? No. The AFR is too high. instantly from 12.7 to 12.6 goes away so does this fix it no oh but changing the rev limit does okay nope. can't raise that so let's go back over here to top end and kind of mess with it. See if we can get a bit more than 26 horsepower out of it. That's going in the wrong direction. Yep. It's like 26 and a half horsepower. This is not exactly a powerful car. So, does changing any of this stuff matter? Not really. Not for what we're doing, anyway. So we can lower the exhaust. I think we get a torque cutoff that's pretty steep there. And what if we do a single? Nope. Change our headers out? Okay, the headers are helping. We'll stick with the short cast. Couple more points of quality. Engine aesthetics. Doesn't need to be particularly pretty. Everything default, that's fine. So let's see. Oh god.
backfires like crazy. That's kind of funny. So what if we go back? Let's see if we can make this a bit bigger. No, nope, we can't. That's as big as it goes. What if we change the engine family to... Uh, 3.413 for both. Keep it square. Still basically a 4 liter. Doesn't really do much for us here, though. Doesn't add a whole lot. Half a horsepower. Okay, so let's see what else we can look at here. If we could do anything with it. Oh, that's making the knocking worse. Twelve point seven, that's our limit there. Let's see if messing with this helps with the knock issue. It does. If we retard ignition timing. Fortunately it also has the byproduct of lowering our <laughs> horsepower and torque. Uh, what if we give it better gas? No, doesn't do anything. Performance intake? Doesn't add a whole lot. Race intake? Still doesn't add a whole lot. What if we bump it up to a quad car? Okay, we can do that. That raises our engineering time and materials costs and all that, but we'll see. So, can we increase? Oh, yes. Oh, two inches, that seems to be our optimal. It's not enough difference. We'll just keep it on short cast. Running too rich. Oh my goodness. All right, just lean enough to keep the knocking out, and we're up to 106 horsepower. I like that. Let's go back to test. Still backfires like crazy, but that's okay. It's our first car. Still says that the engine is running too rich. And it's knocking now. But if I run it any leaner, it starts knocking worse. We'll actually make it a little bit richer. Maybe I can play with this stuff. Now it's only angry about the richness. And what if we lower the ignition timing? That's nah, not really helping. Yeah, we'll keep it right there. What if we... Nah. We'll go right here. Up it by one, 4,400. Probably still going to backfire, but we'll see how it sounds. The backfire is bad. Alright, cool. And this is the point where we get to kind of mess with the car. And I think in future videos I might kind of fast forward through this. But for this part I want to kind of look at it and see. Oh, whoa, whoa nope. Okay. Do we have to keep that so tall? I guess we do. Okay. Maybe we want to kind of widen these fender flares. But not too much. 
Oh, well, we can make them longer. Bubble that out. I'm not really a fan of that, but. Yeah, I'll keep it that way. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. It's basically a station wagon. Oh, look at it. Nice long front end. Let's stick it somewhere in the middle. Wipe those flares out. And I want to bring these forward and that forward. Kind of go for that kind of Cadillac Bentley sort of shape. Oh, raise the flares up. It's kind of awesome. The funny part is this is not my typical car, like, in real life. I'm more of a sports car and or truck kind of guy. And I think for this, we are going to go with the oft-quoted Henry Ford. Any color you want as long as it's black. Uh, sure, whatever color name they want to give it, that's fine. Cool. Still angry about it running too rich. Oh well. I'm thinking, is there any way to filter this? Oh, look at that. Well, I'll use only 1940s stuff. Nice round headlights. Kinda wanna center them on this-ish. Make them, oh, look at that. I can make them bigger tied together. Perfect. What happens if I make them stick? Oh, that just makes the tubes bigger. Yeah, we'll make them smaller because we don't want it to look like too crazy. All right. Uh, tail lights. Perfect. Do the same thing for the 1940s. Somehow I don't think they used LEDs in the 1940s, but that's okay. So I'm thinking we're going to stick with the round and go with either this or that. It's basically our choices. Well, that's a choice. Round like that. We'll stick them down here. I do not want them sticking out like that. Like that's fine. A little bit bigger. Okay. And turn signals. Anything? Mm. Not a fan of any of those. The rectangles are kind of mess that up. Maybe if I. Oh my goodness. That's kind of what I'm looking for, though. God, they're huge. Thankfully, we can make them smaller. So let's put turn signals right there. Much smaller. There we go. And I don't know why they need to look like rocket nozzles coming out of the back of the car. We'll scoot them over here next to the taillights. And then I want to do similar sort of thing. Oh God, there it is. And these. Oh. These ones I'm going to put under the headlights. Like so. Okay. Uh, interior 3D. What? That's kind of cool. Of course, but I can't see inside the car to put that in there. Unless there's some way to change my view. Not that I see. So we're not going to bother with that. Um, grills. 
there are no girls. What about vents? There's vents. Alright. There's got to be... Wow, the year 2000 is when we first started, started putting grills on cars, apparently. Something like this. Yes. Yeah, I kind of like that the way it is. Why is there a steering wheel on my car? <laughs> Oops. Okay, I uh, don't need scoops. Sunroof. Oh, it's just extra windows. Ah, no. Apparently there's no way to back out of that without it getting angry. Alright, uh, don't need lips or spoilers or wings. Uh, yeah, fuel cap. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. Undo changes. Go back. Go back. Oh my goodness. Fixtures. Delete that. I kind of wanted a chrome type. Thing, but I guess that is chromish. We're going to put it on the back of the car because reasons. Right there. Uh, actually, I'm not a huge fan of that. So instead... Put it on the wheel well. On the top of the wheel well. That looks a little bit big. That looks better. Now let's just center it a bit. There. Cool. Uh, door handles. Good old classics. And one's on those doors, too. Got to be able to get in the back. Alrighty. Mirrors. That's from the 50s. Let's drop this back down to the 40s. Apparently, we had turn signals on mirrors in the 1940s. And I guess we can put it over here. Oh, you know what? We could do... I really don't like that mirror. Just doesn't strike me as 1940s. Those look like more like 1980s. This looks something closer to what we were thinking of. Well, we got to get rid of these ones over here on the side. Not really interested in any of that. Single very large antenna. That is in a really funny spot. I'm not sure I like that. What if we stick it over here? I need to fix the angle a bit. Can I fix the angle a bit?
I guess I'm going to have to put it on the side of the fender well. To have it mostly straight up and down. Okay. Uh, license plates. Seriously? Yeah, we'll try something different. How about this one? Well, at least that one molds to the body. There. That is tiny. like that but let's apparently right clicking drops whatever you're using like that and I can do without the front license plate oh badges I wonder if there's hood ornaments what on earth is this oh hood latches okay neat Shield wipers, that would probably be good to put on the car. That's on the glass. So is that one. I need a tow bar. Alright, so let's go back to the badges. We named this the Comet. Does anything in here look like anything spacey? Not really. thinking a single wing like that one it's kind of reminiscent of Apollo K 
can't turn it up like a hood ornament, but I can stick it on the center of the car and make it really big-ish. There. All right. And exhaust tips. We went with a dual exhaust, right? So let's turn downs, straight pipes. Can I please bring them? Okay, that's fine. I'll delete them. Because I actually do want them to stick out. Well, you know what? They could stick under the bumper. And then lengthen them a bit so that I can do that. And then hit mirror. Yeah. Doesn't look horrible. Uh, we're going to look at miscellaneous. That's a ball. All right. Rear wheel drive. Manual four speed. Open differential. Add some quality. Let's look at wheels. Um, medium compound. I can make them a little bit wider, except I can't. Um, 15 inch wheels, make them a little wider, a little larger around. And then we can increase both to 145s. And we want to offset them. kind of a funny design where the fronts are offset more than the rears. It would be kind of neat if you could say you wanted white walls because that would look really good with this. And add a couple points of quality for good measure. Biggest brakes we can get. This is a family luxury sedan sort of thing. More for the comfort. But let's bias it a little closer to even. Okay, um, no under tray, no active arrow. Leave this stuff stock for now. And yeah, I think a bench seat in the back would be good. We're gonna go with premium rather than luxury. And a premium stereo. Um, quality. Advanced 40s safety with quality. 26% wheel spin. Oh my god. That is a lot of wheel spin. We'll have to do something about that. The rear grip just isn't there. Okay. So if we go back to the engine and fuel yeah I know the car has severe issues with wheel spin I just gave it more performance. Drop this down to a twin. Oh, but I need to rich out the fuel for that. But that drops the power by quite a bit. So let's go back to the car designer. Back to testing. To suspension. Okay. Not quite sure how to get back to what I was looking at before. Preview 
this panel. Okay. So I can see some of this stuff. Um, 0% wheel spin, so that's good. I can't. What if I go to a 14 inch wheel? Then I can bump these up. Yeah, not much I can do about that. Still no wheel spin, that's good. It's got a little bit of oversteer, but not much. Wow, 20%. Why is it so low? Oh, poor fuel economy. It's not very affordable. Okay. Then we're going to have to do something about that. So let's go to the drivetrain first. What if... Okay, so that lowers the cost by a little bit. Um brakes go to 10 inch brakes okay. Just drop the quality on the wheels right, we've already touched most of this Fixtures aren't really going to do much to us. Um, drop that. Wow. <laughs> okay, so it's practicality that's a problem and drivability. Does that sound about right? Plus the affordability. Um, okay. Trim body. That's already. Paint's not going to really do anything to us. What if we lower the top speed a bit? Nope, that did not help at all. Fuel economy is not the best. So what if we go back to the engine? And we look at the fuel again. Let's go down to a single carb. Messing with this stuff didn't matter at all. That didn't help. It's going back down to the 4300 we were at before. It's just going to keep knocking. Oh, we were at 7%. Oh, zero. There we go. So, super leaded helps. It's funny as we've actually got a fair bit of market share of the premium, but I was really going for the family, but okay. Required cooling. Okay. What is there? Oh, I go to the body and change the cooling there. Can't really do much here. I can bump the compression a little bit. Am 
There, okay. Uh, I can't really do much there. And I can change this. Which lowers the cost by a fair bit. And that helps with both of these. Okay. Back to the trip designer. Looks like I probably need to add more music to the playlist if it's not too loud. All right, so let's increase our cooling airflow. That helps as well that will help keep the engine from overheating apparently so what if we do with a standard interior really lowers the premium and lowers the family really lowers the family all right stick with that stuff then both of those. Okay. I can mess with the ride height a bit, but that's veering towards understeer at that point. Not really helping any. Um, like 146 is the sweet spot for family. It's 101 here. It's 89.6. No sway bars. Okay. They like no sway bars. That's fine with me. This thing really only weighed... Oh, load capacity. Okay, I thought I was saying it weighed a 1,000 pounds. I was going to be super confused. All right, well, that's better. And those are all green on the left, so we'll go with that. change our test track airfield interesting or automation sure I don't expect this to be the fastest thing in the world at all three minutes that's crazy it's long but again it's not a sports car so yeah cool all right we'll complete that design okay, I don't need to copy it for anything we're just gonna do a single run let's look at the factory Needs a galvanization plant. Yep, there we go. And we've got a billion dollars. So let's go ahead and go with a large two. 
because of reasons. We'll introduce a sports car variant and that sort of thing too. Um, okay. Do next panel. And sure, we'll complete. Well, okay, we can play with this stuff. What's down here? Nothing. Okay. So if I lower automation, that lowers my bar graph. We want as much area under here as we can get. We'll increase the tooling. So like I said, I wanted this to be more of a luxury sort of brand. We'll pay them 10%, no, 15% more than usual. And I do want to keep the QA up though. So let's do that. Okay, next panel. All right, so this is going to take 51 months to research. And the more manual we do it, the faster it happens. I guess it's because we have to set up the automation. Uh, let's optimize things. Uh, faster. If we keep it as close to four years as we can manage. There's four years, so if we sink more money into it, we can automate it a bit more to get to that four year mark. Yeah, right about there. Okay. Now we need to set the engine factory up. Go with a large one for that. Has everything it needs there, so there we go. Because it'll produce that many engines. So that's much higher than the number of cars, so we should be good. We can actually use that engine in another model if we want. Okay, next panel. And this is only 36 months, so let's. Bump up the automation quite a bit. Um, spend some money there. We do want them to be a bit more reliable though. So let's increase the funding. Lower the pressure a bit. Um, yeah, right about there should work. There's the projected load there. Complete the car design. Okay. And this is where we can choose how much to sell it for. So what is it costing us to make? I don't remember. I don't remember where to see the cost of the unit, but um, I kind of need to see that. So if we go back here, it's 
don't really see anything there. Okay, so it costs us 5,000 in materials and 2,500 in labor. So do the math real quick, that's 7,500. So let's go back to the forecasting tool. I would like to make a bit more money than that. So let's sell it for 15,000. No, not 150,000, 15,000. And... really sure what this does for us here so it's not really changing our total profit like even if I turn everything way up it says I'm going to lose money and so yeah okay we can play with that later but all in all I'd say 15 is probably good okay and complete do not need to take a loan out because it's going to cost me right out a billion dollars and I have a billion dollars. Um, maybe we will take a loan. Uh, I want to take out a loan for twenty percent be paid back in 36 months. That'll work. Okay, so now we can hit play and see what it does. It's got to get through all of the uh, engineering, and I think in future episodes I'll speed through some of this stuff. The sitting and waiting part. So, looks like we have no pre-orders of this. So let's open the project. And next. Okay, I guess I can't do next. thought there was a way to change price That's not where we need to be. Okay. Can't really go next. So I want to get to that. car forecaster. Huh, okay. As we have 0.1 units of stock pre-ordered. So, um, where's my car? I'm starting. Okay. Open the car in the forecaster. Not there. Can I open the trim in the forecaster? No. Factory manager, engine, car projects. This one, edit the project. Nope, that's not going to do what we want. 
back to car projects, photo mode, view trim, sign off screen doesn't really help, back to hub, and we'll let this play while we're looking. Let's play with marketing. Comfort, safety, prestige, sure. Back to hub. We do want to look at our research. Um, this stuff is all opened up already, or will be by the time the car is out. And we can sink money into various bits of this. Wheels, brakes. I think we'll stick a couple of points into chassis and a couple of points into this, which at plus five should be, need one more. Get power steering really early. And this will be available. We can look at can I increase my spending here Okay, speed this up until we get to the end of our engineering project. We've got some orders coming in, so I guess it's not horrible. We're in debt by $36 million, though. Probably because I spent money on marketing and all that kind of stuff. All right, and... There we go, we've started making sales. Yeah, I need to be able to lower the price on this thing. It's not selling very well. Oh, look, I can change it now. Let's drop this down to 12,500. Accept. See what that does for our sales. Helps if I push play. Wow, the competitors dropped their price by a lot. I don't know that I can match that price. The car costs too much to make. And my minimum sale price is 10.3. I won't really be making anything on that, so let's drop it down to 
let's target the premium audience instead of So now we're targeting premium instead of family. Let's see if that helps. Hey, we're in the green. Yay! see what our stock level looks like over time still climbing so we can just leave it that way and then let the stock bleed off Okay, well, that was definitely fun. Oh, Factory One has a quality issue. Oh dear. Fix difficulty high. Okay, well, I think we're going to do the quiet recall. And on that note, I think we're going to call this an episode for the day. I appreciate everybody watching. And if you enjoyed it, smash that like button and subscribe. Send me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye now.